Hello golfers, Brian Pate here. I want to talk about the trail arm, give you a nice little drill you could do with the Playmate or without the Playmate on. So if I got set up to this golf ball here, what we'll see from down the line views, if the body's not working correctly, the arm wants to pull back behind the shirt seam here, which starts to get the arm almost going into the middle of my body, as opposed to up to support a tray in the backswing. So if it starts pulling back behind us, this lead arm is going to get too low and too inwards too fast. So what we want to start seeing is an arm that's going to be more in front of the chest, supporting the golf club on the backswing. So what I've been doing with some students is, with this plane mate, attaching it up high on the club with the long band. Go ahead and tighten it down here. That way it's set up, there's almost some slight slack in it. Take the lead hand off once you get your normal grip, normal setup. Go ahead and put it on the sternum and we're gonna make a little Y with the thumb and pinky finger. Put the thumb on your sternum and the pinky finger on your trail bicep. Now as we start going into the backswing, can this relationship stay the same as opposed to wanting to pull that trail arm away from the pinky. So we've got to learn how to move our body. And you can see as I do so, this band is still comfortably long where I haven't pulled it behind me and lost the tension. Now from shaft parallel to the ground, we can add a little tension in the band as we continue to turn. And now I can feel the back of my shoulder in the back of my tricep here supporting the golf club because now there's slight tension on this band. We don't want to have too much tension on the band, just enough to give us some feeling that we're kind of pushing out with that trail arm and we're supporting the golf club in the backswing. So if I do that one more time, make my little Y thumb in the sternum, pinky finger on the trail bicep, go to shaft parallel, maintains, as we keep rotating back, now my arm's supporting the club. If I was gonna put my left hand on there, that's where it would go, where it's not gonna to be too far in and too far back. This is also gonna help you if you're a person in the backswing that gets the arm too retracted or kind of loses some of the structure at the top of the swing. So this is a good drill. Do a lot of rehearsals with it. If you feel like a challenge, put a ball on the tee run through the same motions so I can feel the tension on the band. Tension goes off just a little. And I can turn and chip a ball and it's okay to miss them, hit them, doesn't matter. The goal is what was your feeling, what was your awareness in the back of the swing? So if I unclip this real fast, let's do one with it off. So if I got set up to it with no band, same feelings, same ideas, there's my Y, thumb in the sternum, pinky finger on the trail, bicep. As we go back to shaft parallel, I use my body to move the club back. As we go up to where the lead arm is going to be parallel, there's my same sense that this trail arm is out and wide, more on top of the chest, and keeping the same angle that it was at setup as opposed to wanting to pull the lead arm away in the top of the swing. So let's hit one of these, same idea. Shaft parallel, a little more turn, chip away. And as you're training, go ahead and keep your golf ball on a tee for a while, just make it easy. Now, there's two progressions we could do. We can continue doing what we're doing, getting to that same spot in the backswing, then put our lead hand on the club, swing through, just getting a sense of where that position is in space, what it feels like to be coming from that position. Then as we start progressing that more and more into a swing, these are gonna be the building block cycles. Now we're gonna set up have the same feels, pause, swing. So we want to start small with a lot of reps, 
figure out where that place is in space, what it feels like, then can we start making motions from that spot? Then can we start getting there, place both hands on, make a motion through, then can we actually make that motion with both hands on as opposed to just the trail arm? Because we want to keep training what this feel is as opposed to something that wants to go away from the midline where it wants to stay a little more connected and support that golf club. Then the last process is going to be start small at maybe 20% speed with some golf balls. If you film yourself, go ahead and check the camera as you're hitting golf balls, making sure that they match the motions you're looking for. If it does, move that from 20% speed up to maybe 40%. Keep increasing the speed until that camera tells you to back down a little bit, get the arm structure going again, and increase it. Today you might start at 20%, in a week or two you might start at 40 or 50%, and by the time you know it, you're gonna be swinging full speed and not thinking so much. So you gotta think first, retrain the pattern, as opposed to a club that wants to get pulled in too far. Now my hand's going away from the center line as opposed to moving these together. And then in the downswing, what's the feeling as opposed to this arm wanting to retract back behind my shirt seam? What's it feel like for it to stay out in front as I turn my body as opposed to something that wants to be too far behind, which is gonna make the club want to release or slide my body forward to get the low spot in the correct place. So this is a good little drill with or without the plane mate to train this trail arm to get the sense of awareness of what it's doing in space. It's not pulling back or trying to get the club behind us. We're turning the body to support a tray in the backswing and then we're gonna respond and watch that ball fly.